Hello guys, welcome back. We are with Juventus here. We are gonna get something. I'm gonna help you with Juventus. Many of you have problems or send on Twitter. I was reading there too, setting up Juventus, and I think that's because many of I I was reading, you know, for those who had a hard time with Juventus. Main reason is that they are, I think many of them going looking at stats, they are looking at Juventus in real life, and they want to copy paste what Juventus does today, and that can be a problem. That can be a big problem because. What Juventus does today is not what you have to do. You are the new manager of Juventus, okay? That's how you have to think about it. And one of the things you have to think about when you come to Juventus is uh, it's your implementation here. One thing is to know that players get older in Serie A is okay. It's not, the, not dangerous. They can do it. It's their head. You know, you can see the players here, for example, the mental part. I'm not going into everything, but the mental part. These players can live a long life, as long as the physique goes. You can see it extremely high on the mental part. The mental part will do it. Look at this. It's like they have cheated in this game, huh? Bonucci and Juventus have extremely well squad, guys. This is one of the best squads you can find in Football Manager. But you have to do it right, and and, and, and the, the chance to miss the fail in Juventus is high. That's why also many people is holding them somehow away from Juventus. But this Juventus team is set up for winning Champions League. They are doing you now three, four years the same thing. They are bringing in something new. They are stretching up the, as much as they can to win it. Okay, but the, one of the problems is. I think it's ten players, or eleven players here that are over thirty years old, and the problem here is. Of those players, Cuadrado, Bonucci, and uh, Matudi, Kadira, Manskusic, Ronaldo, Cellini will all start for me. That's seven of the players. Seven of the players in my starting eleven are over 30 years. So if you're playing a long-term league game here, you should do something with that. That's one of the things you have to do on. I'm not going to go trying to do a lot of crazy things here. But another thing you can see here and show you from staff, because you went to staff, is great, guys. You don't need much there. And training, you can set the top up yourself or you find it on the net. I don't do much about that. This is more about Juventus setting you up tactically, technically. And you can see I'm already started with the game here. But one of the things you can see here, guys, is Juventus age difference. Okay, you got some players from 17, but these are not players that can impact your team in one to two years old. In, in one to two years, these two players is not valuable players. You got to work with him. This is the player we have to work around, okay? I just bought in just Kaya. That one of the major things you can see in Juventus is you got a good sweeper goalkeeper, okay? You got a good sweeper goalkeeper in both of these two goalkeepers. Great sweeper goalkeeper. You got extremely good mental strength. These players can do tactically everything you want them to do. They are giving you their life in the field out there. The bravery these players are showing is extreme. Bonucci is like a deep lying playmaker playing central defense. Cellini is giving his heart out there and he got every physical expect to do it. Strange 18 as a 34 year old man. 19 in tackling, positioning. Look at this. The leadership is 14 and you put that beside Bonucci who's giving you leadership of uh, 18. You got uh, Benatia. He's the captain of uh, Morocco. Look at him. He reads the game, bravery, strange again. He's exciting defense, okay? But this is not this is not Manchester City's line of defense, but they can both play and they are defensively maybe the best defensive line you got in the game. And at the sides you got wingers who can play as backs, okay? Cancelo and Cuadrado. Look at Cuadrado, it's my first choice, okay? He's in Serie A, 8.25, three assists in four games. Why? Because he's dribbling. He's is 16 his pace is 18 acceleration is 18 off the ball 16 he's like a bullet at the side here but he's normally a winger you use him as a fullback okay the same is with this substitute the portuguese international joao cancelo 15 17 the pace is great off the ball is great a lot of weaknesses here because he's a winger his flair is great he's passing and dribbling crossing one game in Serie A, 7 19 here uh, so let's go I say <laughs> at the left you have also Alexandro he got injured so he have not played more than one Serie A game and one assist that game he was injured into the game so he couldn't fulfill the game but look at this 16 15 pace he's also giving you some defensively strength as well tackling 16 he will win the ball high up in the field so what you know is that you got defenders central defenders 
who is can defend. You have a goalkeeper who can play with his feet as well as coming out and and take out the room behind your central defender. So you can have a central defender high up. But then you want these two players going higher up in the field. Then we think do I want do I want wing or do I want strikers? Or do I want diamond? I didn't went for the wingers because okay you got Mankusic but Mankusic for me is not a good winger. Okay? And the part here is that I wanted Mankusic Man, and uh, based on his, again, the mental part. Look at his work rate, guys. I wanted a football that he could pump in crosses because these two were, were so good. Our side backs are so good in the crossing part. We have a lot of running uh, stamina here. They're injured, of course. Kedira. His teamwork, positioning of the ball movement is 17. You put him as a box to box midfielder. As you can see here, three games, two goals, one assist, 7.80. I have Matud, Matudi and um, Kadira here, Pjanic behind here, and Dybala here. Then you can use Dybala as a Triquista because I want Dybala here. He will take the creative part and put it inside here. And you can change roles with uh, Bernadeschi. Bernadeschi. Because you say, okay, you want to, you, you tell me you want a uh, diamond, you, you want a running formation, but why is Dybala Turklista? He's not running. No, because Mankusic, Bentakur, Pjanic is doing the work for him. These are runners. And you have cover up with Emre Khan, Emre Khan with Pjanic, who you want there, who can cover up. And I put Ronaldo as a t target man because, only because one thing, guys. He's finishing, he's heading, he's jumping, he's extreme. So I want him in the box. And if we are keeping possession and we are pumping in crosses, it doesn't mean he's always heading. But I want these players to cross more often, cross from deep, cross aim target men, and stay wider. And the reason is we want to pump it in and we got good players, three players here covering up the second ball. If he can now win the ball inside here, we will go for long shots. We will use the running ability of the team. And I also set up attacking here. Many people say, why are you setting attacking? Attacking said this player have to take risk. Yeah, of course they want to take risk because I want Dybala to take more risk. I want uh, Ronaldo to take more risk. I want uh, Gaia and, uh, or Santos or Cuadrado here to take more risk. I want Bonoche to take more risk. But Benaco, for example, players such as Kedira here or Matud, Matiodi, they won't take that risk. Look at this, plays short, simple passes. He won't take that much risk, and he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. Mankusic will not take any crazy risk. Why? Because he's working at the defensive part. You could also use Mankusic, change him with, uh, for example, a player such as, uh, uh, where's my good friend, Douglas Costa, and use him as a false nine here, or Dybala here, and you can have Barandeshi here. But uh, it worked better with the pressing forward. They linked up, and... Mankusic is extremely well in the box, so you get his heading and jumping and his aggression and work rate, you know, five games, three goals, very good. You also got Ronaldo per st uh, beside him, you get a lot of goals combined here with, with these two. And one other thing people say, maybe can ask themselves is, why are you playing wide? The reason is very simple, because I need to play wide so my fullbacks get some more rooms and our central midfielder again Kadira and Benatia uh, Kadira and um, Matiudi they play simple passes and the ball goes very fast around them so they will not be expo exposed under technical weaknesses Matiudi has been extremely well for me too as well okay Cialin is injured he's out Matiudi is out and Kadira is out I'm just gonna go one game you can see how it goes out there and uh, I want also Benatia or Cellini to play few risky passes because we set up that attack from Bonocci or from the deep line playmaker here and these two guys start to go one-on-ones, get the ball, flip it out to the sides, get the ball across, we can't win the ball in the box, ball, ball comes out, the box to box midfielder or Dybala shoots, get the ball in or we get the ball, cross it, we can't win the ball, get the ball out here, other side, new cross, new cross. We are pumping in crosses, guys, from every hole here. Let's go and take a game here. While you're here, you can see it in real life, have this go. We just 
played against Valve, won the 3-0. We have played um, some few games as you can see here. We have played 3-0 against Napoli, 5-1 against Frasione, Tronino 5-1, AC Milan 2-2, and 1-0 over Hoffenheim and 3-0 against Ball. And uh, the sad thing is I haven't yet get my best 11 out there together. We are missing three gold players. Gold players I'm talking about Alexandro, I'm talking about uh, Kadira, and I'm also talking about Matthew D. Matthew D and Kadira, when you have them, the game really flows out there. They pit so easy, simple passes, the ball goes so fast around there, and then you have Pjanic getting the ball from side to side, the, the wing backs get it on. I also use the wing backs as in support duty because I don't want them to dribble too much and go by line. You don't want crosses by line. You have so many players and uh, that is good in the air that you don't need to do that. You just need to get the ball into the box and dominate the ball in their half. Your defenders are also very good to read the game so they will do the right thing I hope. We are playing against Atlanta. Atlanta is one of my definitely favorite team in the great Serie A. I'm a long term Serie A fan. Fiorentina, all of these teams. And I'm gonna play one g season with every Fiorentina game. With not for every Serie A team. Fiorentina is my main favorite team in Serie A, of course. Okay, guys, since you are very good, happy today, we're gonna set Cellini back. We are still missing the Santos here. We are also missing Mat uh, Matteodi and Benak and uh, Kadira. Piani should be playing here. But let's go. Matuidi is maybe Matuidi is maybe ready, his, but I don't think his fitness is right. But Pjanic and Matago, but they are giving more. They are getting better. They are giving us better long shots in the game. Okay, we are looking at. It. So you can see it by yourself instead of me setting up a team for you before the season starts. But don't go tiki taka with Juventus. Don't do that. And uh, I think that will be suicidal. It's it's possible. It possibly can make it happen because we got some good ball players, but. To be honest with you, you, you don't, uh, for those who don't see it, Atlanta is taking the lead. Uh, you don't got that many good ball players. You got Costa, Berdashi, and Divala and Pjanic. That's it. That's it, what you got of ball playing play, ball playing players. Oh, Berisha, why are you doing that? You should let me score goals, Berisha. A 50-50 game so far, guys. In the possession, they are keeping the ball. Okay, I'm not a commentator, so I'm not going to talk about that. They they have some few more attacks than the all other opponents I have. We are also good at counter attacks. I didn't say that. Good teamwork. Look at that. But again, we are missing that midfield. You know, keep it simple. Dominate the ball. I think Pjanic and uh, Badako here. They're, they're getting the ball too much. They're, look at this. They go too much with the ball. We want the ball out, ball out wide. That was, that is the main strength, in my opinion, of Matudi and Kadira. They let the ball go. The ball is always in the move. Simple passes. But Atlanta is really, really, really giving us a hard time here. And I think one of the reasons is that I can show you here. Uh, we can see it later on. Uh, Uh, one of the reason is their formation. They oh, there you come back, Ronaldo. Very good. Okay, uh, as you can see here, guys, is they're playing with three central defenders, three back line. They also using wing backs, so they have cover up, double cover up at the sides with also wingers. So they are two, sometimes even three to one. We are, we are not normally the opponent is playing with uh, because this must. My cello will be thrown out wide when you have played that Hatabor at the right back. When your wing back is played out, your DSR goes wide. And then you have triple. You know, it's not that much room uh, to play on. And you are. There's a good cover up in the middle, as you can see. So, again, we should have the simple passes. That we are not having at this game. We, we had the same problem last game, you know. We won 3-0, but uh, it was too much driving with the ball. I want the pace. And when when 
there you got the goal but as i told you before the game with pianish and better code you get more better long shots so the long shots is better yes of course but our main objective here is to get crosses you know because suddenly ronaldo will be angry you know i'm not getting the ball and i'm not happy with you're not playing it to me enough and we have a problem with a player who's got one million dollar no one million pound a week wage as you can see here they are not slipping the ball out wide enough they're going for long shots both Benacor and uh, Bentancor and Pjanic they're playing too small especially Bentancor here but Pjanic got some devastating long shots guys in this game or in real life as well do you remember his his free kicks in Leo or even in Roma I haven't seen that many games with Juventus this year. I wonder if this uh, Ronaldo is Pjanic taking the free kicks. Can't think about Pjanic is not taking uh, free kicks. Oh, I really like that uh, Argentinian striker Gomez in Atlanta. I think he plays for Italy, but he's from Argentina. Okay, guys, that's the break. One more shot, guys. Okay, what you can see from the first half is, as I told you, expectation, what we expected, and uh, that is Bentacur is doing the ball too much, and Pjanic, but Pjanic has some devastating long shots that saves him out, because he has some good long shots, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take Emre Can out, and we're gonna use, I don't know if I'm really gonna do that, he's really not ready to play the game. But for you, I will do that. And we will put Matudi in here. Because now he's a little bit lower on the field here. And the yellow player, yellow card player, Emre Can is going out. Behind there, he cannot do that many drifting. We want more crosses, boys. As you can see at, see at the shots, we have taken ourselves up now. 19 shots, only 4 on target. That's not good enough. I really like Gomez, man. Should buy Gomez, but it's too old. It's too expensive as well. Ooh, that was good breaking up there. And you come the cross, and it's a corner. Come on, it was a corner. Uh, and and one thing you will see that the stamina of this team is extremely well. So you will dominate the game. Further you go, you will just be running over them. As you can see in the second half, you're up to sixty-one percent ball possession. Mental and the physical 3 0 Pjanic long shots again, and the long shots, uh, no, the, the, the stamina, the mental part, the work rate of this team, the concentration is extreme. This is the game we have really, I shouldn't have chosen this game for you, but in a way, it's good you could see it this game because now you can see the what we have to work on. What's your how your players will work, you know, so it's a lot of different ways you can go, I can, I can set in Douglas Costa as a left back now, I could set Douglas Costa in as a striker, false nine, uh, I wouldn't set him as a trapista because he's lacking the finishing ability, let's look at how it will be with a false nine, Mankusic out and uh, He's, he's a good false knife. He's a good false knife. <sighs> Douglas Costa. As you can see here, I don't. I know we haven't set enough stuff, but knight in dribbling. He calls ball, knocks ball past the opponent, cuts inside from right wing. So he will. And his dribbling is so extreme. And he will get down and pick the ball. But he should maybe play at the right side, but okay, let's just, let it go. And you can also, since you are here, do something else. In the last seconds, we can have Berndashi playing as a wing back. We have we have the ball so much now. That is why not? Why not? We are playing sixty one percent the ball, so it means we in sixty one percent of the time left. We are in their opposition half, and Berndashi is one on one at the sides, so that may go. I once used Douglas Costa. 20 minutes of the game as a left back, score two goals. There you can see it, guys. Anyway, 3 1, Pjanic, long shots. 
we should get more crosses. You can see you're outrunning your opponents. You have better concentration in your opponents, and this is goes game after game you can tweak it I'm not saying this is a perfect formation but you get the picture here this is a running team this is a physical team this is a team with experience but normally teams with experience are teams that um, that uh, don't don't have the physical part because they are older but this team have the physical part they got work rate that's extreme so try it with Juventus, but I again say to you, don't go tiki taka with this team. You may do well, but I don't think you will get the potential out of the players. I'm just gonna look at Pjanic. I like Pjanic. Three ga four games, three goals. Just came back after injury. Guys, good luck. I really hope you can enjoy, you enjoy this. If not, I will make something better next time. Okay, guys. Thank you very much.